My name is Thomas Diesenreiter, I'm Head of Communication of the tobacco factory Linz, Development and Operations Management uh, company. Basic idea to use it for creative things was like a public discussion. There were many dozens or even hundreds of people who participated in discussions. It's not one genius who thought, yeah, let's do it exactly like this and then everybody just does it. This is, this is very important. We always, from the beginning, we said uh, it's an, an open process. We don't know 100% where it will go, but everybody who has an idea about it, please come to us and talk with us and let's see if we can do it. Uh, you can rent your own room, your, your own office, and then of course there are other possibilities here. You can, we have a co-working space where you can participate. We have a couple of offices which are shared offices, so where groups of different creatives join together to use the room and there of course always somebody moves out and they can, they can move in. Then I think the, the more interesting thing is the, the things which happen outside of your own room. In total the, the whole area has 80,000 square meters of space, so that's quite huge and most of the rooms are actually really huge halls. We have really small number of small rooms and all of the small rooms we already rented out and for the bigger rooms which are usually between 1,000 and 5,000 square meters, uh, we have to do reconstruction uh, due to safety concerns. Um, so the, but here again, it's a, a huge range of rooms we, we offer. For example, the, the co-working space is in total about 600 square meters big. And we also have, for example, a printer here, an analog printer. He has a small workshop with about 50 square meters. So it's On the one hand, we have a huge event program. We have about 200 events a year here. The events are really widespread, so it's from small book readings with 20 people to concerts with 5,000 people, small exhibitions, uh, art exhibitions with a couple of hundred visitors to big exhibitions with 100,000 visitors. We have to include all the people, or as much people as we somehow can. Um, on the other hand, the, the second part is uh, the tenants, uh, the people who stay here long term. And here we have a focus on creative usage. We have many, many cultural initiatives in Linz and we have been uh, working together with a big number of them. For example, the Ars Electronica, um, which is one of the most well-known institutions we have. They did the whole festival here, they did uh, exhibitions here, of course. we try to work together with the others. But if you talk to people and get feedback from them, uh, it's one of the main reasons they want to move here. So they have other people they can work with and they have short ways. And it's easier to just, you know, say, let's meet in the cafeteria and talk about if we can work together and I need a graphic designer or a photographer or whatever and I give you my idea and that. Then if you have to make an appointment to move somewhere and so on. We try to enable people to do cool stuff, which doesn't have to be some creative thing. And thereby we try to create an atmosphere where people are open and where people share their ideas. And it's more about collaboration than fighting against each other. On the one hand, on the other hand, of course, the, with the events, you have many interesting inputs you will not find somewhere else in the city. We are kids of the suburbs. And our old office was uh, in the center of the town, in the Altstadt. And there we had more uh, the attitude of a dentist or a lawyer. It was maybe, I won't say too clean, but it didn't have that uh, charming industrial attitude that we bring into our work. So this is a good place for us because it's an old factory. It's some kind of new hotspot and we are very happy to be here. Hello, my name is Andreas Bauer. I'm the director of the Ars Electronica Center here in Linz. 
Uh, Ars Electronica is in Linz since 1979 and it started as a festival and the reason for starting it was that Linz was at that time a very industrial town. It uh, became a high unemployment rate and all those kind of things and at the same time uh, three very clever people came up with the idea and said okay Linz has to transform its image. Linz was always known within Austria as a dirty industrial town. It uh, was part of this transformation of Linz into becoming a cultural town. Now we're uh, within the circle of UNESCO City of Media Arts and those kind of things, some things that nobody would have expected a couple of years ago. It was an, uh, a team of three people in the beginning uh, and one of what was very important and he still is part of the team is Hannes Leopold Sieder. He was at that time the director of the Upper Austrian Broadcasting Corporation, the ORF, the, the Austrian branch. So with the support of this media institution it was really really possible to set this whole thing in motion and to set this uh, whole thing running. As I said the center here it's called Museum of the Future so it's very much run like a museum kind of, of, of place where you come, you can have a look at, uh, you can visit, you can have guided tours, you can have workshops and all those kind of things. Uh, if you want to work more closely with Ars Electronica, then we have, uh, depending on which direction, if you're more an artist, then suddenly probably the, the, the festival will be a better place for you. Uh, we have the pre Ars Electronica, which is a yearly competition that we hold uh, in different fields, so you can hand in your works, you can hand in your, your ideas there, and if the jury thinks that your, your work is good enough, then you, can, you will be selected and you get an award, you will be displayed here, etc. And some of the categories do offer also uh, artists and residency programs. Ars Electronica is a network organization. There is no, we, with the things that we're doing we could not do with, with ourselves, with the team and with the money that we have. There is the Art University here, uh, just on the other side of the Danube. There is the University of Applied Sciences, there's, there's the University in Linz, uh, and we do have collaborations with all of them. They are producing their own uh, subjects and we are very happy to support them uh, in terms of, let's say, uh, make presentations in the deep space or use some other kind of processes. So if the idea is worse and if the, if the, I mean, they do have to reach obviously a certain professionality and a certain skill, we are also, several of our people are within in the education systems. Several people from the Future Lab are lecturers on different universities, so they are very much involved in this in this education process. I mean, we, we don't have marketing people, we don't have technical people. We, uh, we of course have them, but with all different sciences in particular, we have artists within these team projects and this enables to create different solutions uh, than you would have otherwise. I mean, uh, we developed together with Siemens a, an augmented car navigation system back in the 90s. Yeah? And this was almost because it was artists being part of this project because they do have different access and different ideas. We have probably the, the large target group that you can guess of. We, we start with three years old with kindergarten kids and we go all the way up to uh, having families with uh, their grandparents and, and, and uh, their ancestors coming and you know, siblings and everything. So. Uh, the building itself is, is the very visual part of Ars Electronica and it was very important to get also this building because it, uh, otherwise it was always just this one week in September where the festival is happening and where Ars Electronica was visual uh, within, uh, within Linz. Now with the center with more than 170,000 people coming to the center every year. Uh, it's a very, very open and communicative space for the city. It's very visual. You've seen that the, the facade, which is illuminated at night, but it's not only illuminated by artistic works. You can go there as a, as a, as a, as a free person. You can go there, connect your cell phone to the terminal, and you can decide which kind of music you want to listen to and have the, the facade play the visuals that you want and the colors that you want and those kind of things. So it also has to be a very open and transparent space. So that's, that's the Ars Electronica Center gives the possibility to see new developments, new technologies, but not so much in terms of explaining you how they work, but much more how what impact these technologies will have on our daily lives. Because in the end, uh, just think of the cell phones that you all have. Uh, they are here since a couple of years, five, six, seven years. Yeah? And they change the way we do business, the way we communicate, the way we uh, uh, play, have joy games and all those kind of fundamentally. And uh, the great advantage is that we have a, a, a huge team of so-called info trainers and they are spread out all over the, the exhibition and they are here to discuss. As I said right in the beginning, Linz was an industrial town, but it changed uh, what kind of jobs are offered nowadays. So it did change the neighborhood quite a lot. Yeah.